it was not that long ago that Contra Bros said that he wanted to see older characters from Jurassic Park appear in Jurassic World 3. And obviously, the first thought that comes to mind for most people is Ellie Sattler, Alan Grant, and maybe Ian Malcolm again. But there is one thing a lot of people are overlooking here when looking back at Jurassic Park. This is the fact that that movie took place over 25 years ago, so people like Sam Neill are 70 years of age. When most fans imagine the group that did appear in that film, Alan Grant is most likely the first face that comes to mind. Now just take this for example, we saw Benjamin Lockwood show up in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Everybody saw how old he was and he did eventually die off, but the actor James Cromwell is only 8 years older than Sam Neill. So the point I'm trying to make here is not that Sam Neill can show up and play Alan Grant, it's just the fact that if he does come back and plays Alan Grant there will be limitations to his actions. We saw in Jurassic Park and Jurassic Park 3 that Alan Grant is involved in lots of action, whether it's running away from a spinosaurus source or getting surrounded by a velociraptor pack, there is no denying that Alan Grant has lots of physical action during these films. Then on the flip side of this equation, possibly the second most popular character in Jurassic Park, Ellie Sattler, she is only 51 years of age. So if I were to place a bet here from the main characters that did show up in Jurassic Park, Ellie Sattler would be my choice for a returning character. Now another factor about Jurassic Park that we have to remember is Timmy and Lex. They are not like Macy Lockwood or Zack and Gray, they are all grown up and there is a great chance for them to return as well. And who would not want to see Timmy and Lex communicate with Macy? They were the original kids that saw Isla Nublar in its prime, they saw the big one and the raptor pack and most importantly, they saw Rexy in her youth. It would also be very interesting to see what their thoughts are on Macy being a clone and the evolution of cloning technology in this franchise. And then going back to Zack and Grey, the way they were built and introduced in Jurassic World, I do not see any way they come back for Jurassic World 3. The story of their very up and down relationship ended during that movie. For characters like Timmy and Lex and Macy Lockwood, they actually have a future in Jurassic World 3 and future films. And out of all the characters we have seen in the Jurassic Park franchise, those three in my eyes are the most intriguing. We can only wait to see what happens with Macy Lockwood and her role in this film. The idea of human cloning is still very unique and odd to the Jurassic Park franchise. But write your opinions on this topic down below. Which old characters would you want to see return for Jurassic World 3? And is there any chance that Zack and Grey actually do return? Write this all down below and if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe if you want and if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and have a nice day.